Okay, um, the next part of our engine, and what we've done is some off-camera work here, and we've put our rocker arms in with our push rods. What I wanna do is a quick demonstration of our four-stroke cycle. The piston's moving down right now, and I'm turning the engine the right way. The exhaust valve is opening as the piston comes up, so that would be our exhaust stroke. So this is our intake stroke. Intake valve open, piston going down, intake valves closed, piston now coming up to the top. On the front of the flywheel, we have a little triangle arrow here. When it's pointing straight north or 100% straight up, that's top dead center for the piston. We have just confirmed it to be on the compression stroke. When you set valve clearance, that's what we're about to do. That's how loose these rocker arms are. You need to have the engine on the top dead center of the compression stroke. So if I have this move during this procedure, I'm gonna have to start again. We looked up online for particularly valve clearance for this engine. And the intake valve is six thousandths of an inch, 0 0.006. This is a feeler gauge that is calibrated to be six thousandths of an inch. The clearance that we're gonna measure is between the rocker arm and the top of the valve. So I'm gonna put the feeler gauge in place. I'm going to adjust the adjustment nut until it starts dragging on the feeler gauge, until it's kinda of hard to turn. That feels pretty good. Now what I'm gonna do is I need to hold the adjuster nut without turning it. So as everybody's staring at me here, you're gonna see I'm gonna be doing my best to make sure it doesn't turn. And then I'm going to tighten the upper nut. It did turn, but I think maybe I turned it back and I don't really know. Yeah, you turned it back. So what I need to do is, I need to measure my valve clearance again. The, the objective was to get six thousandths of an inch. But the spec is happy with it being five thousandths, six thousandths, or seven thousandths. Don't uh, rock the camera there. It makes it seem like there's an earthquake. So I'm gonna try to put this six thousandths in, and it's a little tight, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna back this off a hair. And not very much. When I, tight when I tightened it before, the students noticed, well, you moved a little bit, Henderson, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it up a little bit when I, when I move it. And I'm gonna tighten it down again. This time I didn't measure it, but I know I'm very, very close because I opened it up some. So I'm gonna try to slide that feeler gauge in. And I'm still a little tight on it. So I'm gonna back it off again. And I'm gonna play this game until I get my desired clearance. I opened it up again, some. Tighten it down. That's feeling pretty close. I think it might be a tad tight still though. I've done a few of these before with our students rebuilding them every single year. So we're gonna just need to go a hair here now. It's actually good news when it starts a little tight because loosening it, it's the easiest thing to do. This feels really good. So how I would confirm to make sure this is good now is I'm gonna try and slide the 7,000th one in. Now I'm still allowed to be seven. I, um, 
I can't really get it in without forcing the valve open. The 6,000 goes in nicely. So I actually have exactly 6,000th of an inch, good for me. On the intake side, remember this is the intake side. So we're gonna just repeat the same thing for the exhaust side using the 8,000th of an inch feeler gauge. And that's pretty much how it's done. I'm gonna to try to put eight in. It fits no problem. I'm gonna snug it down. And if I learned anything from last time is that I was a little tight when I snugged it down. So this time I'm gonna back it off a hair. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm gonna me measure with the eight thousandths of an inch feeler gauge between the top, of the, ooh, the top of the valve and the rocker arm, and I may have hit this on the first try. The eight slides in, it's a little snug. I'm pretty sure the nine's not gonna slide in, but the nine's okay, because again, it's allowed to be plus or minus one thousandth of an inch, and the nine just slides in. So now I'm gonna try the 10. If the 10 goes in, I will be outside my spec and I'll need to tighten it and the 10 doesn't go in. So just got lucky, I guess, that way. So you learn your lesson. Okay, so now I'm gonna confirm that my engine has compression before I go a whole lot farther. Normally I'd have my recoil on and I could pull that very hard. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna plug the spark plug hole with my finger and try to accomplish this. And I pulled, um, I created a lot of pressure there. Okay, creating pressure. So what that means is both my valves are closing. As long as they're not too loose, I won't make any noise. If I start this engine and I find that the upper end is a little too ticky or clattery, okay, I might have to pop this valve cover off and do it again. But for now, that valve clearance is set. That was one of the big steps on this engine, so hopefully you'll document that really well.